this might look like a nice top at first, but you turn around. Oh, you thought influencers didn't lie to you, huh? <laughs> it was all a lie. Yeah, this is a button up and a corset top that I just judged. It looks great from this angle though. That's all that matters. Hi friends, my name is That's all I could think of. I'm so terrible. Happy end of pride. Let me just first say something. Yes, I know I look beautiful. Second thing, don't worry, we'll still do Pride videos year-round because, uh, Pride is year-round. And I don't care what y'all say. Who cares about Military Awareness Month? Clearly, not straight people. Did I lie? Because they still don't think it exists. Everyone's been asking me, Frederick, where's the Pride logo roast? Frederick, when are you gonna talk about logos? Well, guess what? They don't really do them anymore. <laughs> I'm out of a job now, y'all. Like, barely any of them actually do the logos because I think I pressure them out of it. So, you know what? Maybe that's a win for me. But I did look around. I eventually found a good amount of logos, so we will, in fact, roast them. And I'll still do a video about rainbow capitalism itself. There's already enough commentary about it. In short, if y'all genuinely think that these companies are doing stuff to look out for you, just remember, they do Pride merch so that you, a queer person, will buy it. So they take you, a queer person's money, and donate it towards anti-LGBT organizations that then take away your rights in the States. Just like what's happening right now. I know we all want to escape it, but like, no. You can't afford to just not think about politics. I will make a video about it eventually. It's just that when I'm uploading this video, it's my birthday, so happy birthday to me. I'd rather not bring it down with some politics. And if you want to give me a birthday present, subscribe. subscribe. Or like the video. There's also a super thanks button. I don't know if that works, but like, you can try. You can also save your money for college because it's expensive here. Or you can just buy the rainbow earrings on my merch site. Or just any merch. Just do what you want with your money. Most importantly, subscribe, because it's free. But y'all will defend these corporations, <clears throat> Disney, more than you will your own rights. What's not making sense? I hope y'all know, especially in Florida, that Disney initially supported the Don't Say Gay bill. And then because of public backlash, they backed out. So like, What's not clicking? And also, someone had the nerve to say, Frederick, these corporations is not all bad because like, they raise awareness for pride. Raise awareness? You look for representation from Target? What about the thousands of other queer creators? What about the hundreds of queer actors and genuine good shows out there? No, we look at the Target Pride blazer. That's what's gonna make a child realize, oh, it's okay to be gay. That blazer right there. Your standards are as low as your grades. That was, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm 21, so don't bother roasting me. This is my day. It's also the day of Stonewall, so like, appreciate that. People did not protest, fight, die, literally, back then. People were killed. Nobody they were, was killed at Stonewall. Nobody was nobody killed? Nobody was killed at Stonewall. For companies to commodify the pride flag. So just like, a grain of salt when you're trying to support these companies about pride, okay? One grain of salt. No one's shaming you for wanting to buy pride merch. We get it. You want to have something that's prideful. Or affordable, I guess. But don't die on a hill that's saying, like, these companies, they are the front runners of the pride protest march. Companies are never going to fight for our rights. People fight for their rights. We would love them to, but when they take millions of dollars, and push it towards other organizations and parties that aren't in favor of us. Ingrain this in your brain. They will always see you as an outsider. Doesn't matter how much you try to suck up to straight people, they will still see us as other. Historically, people who are marginalized have to fight for those rights. Think of every protest and movement that's happened. Who is fighting? Is it the companies? No. Never ever? Never ever ever. Who are the people pushing for those rights? The same group that's being marginalized. So yeah, research, don't get comfortable, and realize that you are not safe. <laughs> okay, let's talk about pride logos. Genuinely, I am sorry if that made someone very anxious, but like, you can't afford to look away from it, because it's not going to benefit you in the long run. So let me just move my ass over here, I guess. And I'll put a pride logo right here. In the number one spot, we have Mercedes-Benz. Somehow, the car companies are really loud with this stuff. I don't get it. Of all things, cars. Okay. We already know. Step one of doing pride logos, don't. Okay, don't bother. But step two, if you do do it, don't make it ugly, okay? If you're gonna use the flag, at least make it pretty. So we're just gonna look at it from that standard. This is actually really pretty. It's like holographic. I could see this as their actual thing. Like when you're driving a car and you can get that. I can see someone customizing it and turning it into a rainbow car. The banner though, sort of feels <clears throat> like some beauty guru from a few years ago who was popular for no reason. I say beauty loosely, by the way. 
Anyways, this is not bad. What I do find funny though, and just I want to emphasize this, companies usually have like a US Twitter, a UK Twitter, you know, it's like Drag Race, they have different franchises. So I look here and I see the US, the UK, India, the museum, there's a museum, they all have the same logo. But for some reason, South Africa doesn't. And I know a lot of other countries with Mercedes-Benz as the Twitter account don't. What's that say about how much they care about spreading pride awareness? It's only relevant in the countries that are a little bit accepting. Good answer. What do you win? Not more rights. <laughs> I don't know this brand. Someone just told me about it. It's called Cisco. By the way, if these are in the UK, I'm not sorry for mispronouncing them, okay? I'm not fucking British. Bitch. I'm vegan. <laughs> what do you expect me to think? ASDA was supposed to be pronounced as the. I'm sorry, it's an acronym. What do you do with acronyms? You spell them out. LGBT, not Legabata, even though it's what I wish it would be. Or League Beauty, in my opinion. That being said, Cisco's logo, it's cute. It looks like goggles. It also looks like some band. What band was it that everyone was obsessed over? I've seen this shirt through Tumblr and Hot Topic, though. That's what I know for a fact. Yeah, it's not bad. I actually appreciate this. Thank you. Actually, no, I don't thank you. The next one is Bathsheba or something? Bethesda, whatever this is. What in the fuck? I'm telling you right now, if you don't understand that, I'm telling you as a human being, it is weird. Why do you have two rainbow logos? No, you have three. We have the progress flag, which in my opinion is getting uglier each year. I want y'all's opinion on this. I understand why they wanted to add the black and brown stripes and also the trans flag, but I do think the discussion of what about our flag will come up, unfortunately. And knowing how we want to be accepting of everyone, I do see the possibility of every flag being on it eventually. Instead of debating about the flag usage, we should be talking about why do black and brown people still feel ostracized from this community and trans people and intersex people and asexuals and you know what everyone because this whole community is a little little effed up. The amount of discourse about which flag is which, what definition belongs to which sexuality, trying to condone someone else for using a sexuality that doesn't bother you because it's not your life, it's theirs. Yeah, that energy, the hours y'all put into those arguments, could be put towards something else, like trying to raise awareness about what's going on. Like the 240 anti-trans bills that have been introduced this year. Y'all know that the amount of school things and the amount of anti-trans bills are like the same. It's... <laughs> That is crazy to me. That being said, this thing is fucking disgusting. Get it out of my face. Xbox did it better, I will admit. Xbox made that weird controller and for some reason, I don't mind it. Because it's so abstract at this point, it looks like a mosaic somehow. This, just ugly. Get it out of my face. The focal point is not even in the center of the square. What are you doing? You know what, I'll fix it. Take that, delete it, and then do a gradient. That's fine. Y'all act like I hate gradients. I hate gradients on most shirts. But when it's pastel gradients, that is just a different vibe. I did write down some that are not necessarily logos, but Uber did do something on both platforms, Uber Eats and Uber Ride. So Uber Eats, they decided to give us bottom-friendly foods. Thanks. Thank you. I actually think it's funny. It's really funny and probably useful. Educate the masses. Y'all probably don't even know what that means. And uh, I'm not gonna explain. It's not, not for me. Not gonna bother. Not my job. <laughs> Look it up. Aside from that, the actual Uber app is pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cute. They say during Pride Month and every month, we believe that everyone has the right to move freely, safely, and without fear. Something something, supporting our community, something something. They're doing workshops, apparently, to make transgender Pacific specific <laughs> bystander allyship workshops. That's just such that's just too many adjectives. Bystander allyship, girl. Shorten it, please. They're trying to support transgender drivers and couriers. I think they actually do try. I like this bottom part in terms of design. Like, I really like the idea of move with pride and just showing you different aspects of the LGBT community. And the fact that the color is like, that's how you do a flag, Uber. Thank you. It's actually really cute. Do they actually do things though? I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Point is, I did not get a free ride this month, so... There you go, Uber. <laughs> oh my god, another car brand, BMW. This might be the same one as last year. I know I've talked about it. I know their logo is already blue. Can y'all just let it go for like one month though? Like, why does it have to be blue? And because of the way it's placed in the logo, you can't just make it black and white because then that can be an entirely different logo. The gradient is fine, I guess. I just, I kind of want to see the gradient inside the blue just to see. I just don't like how the blue is touching the gradient part of the blue. Just 
Omit the blue. Choose one blue. It's either in the backdrop or in your logo. Don't do both because then I can't see it. Walmart. Oh, buddy. We already talked about this last year. We also talked about a whole video just dedicated to Walmart and how they donated millions of dollars to anti-LGBT organizations. Thanks. <laughs> it's hard to avoid. Like, almost every company does it, y'all. I'll give credit where it's due. It's not bad. I do kind of wish that the f top one, like 12 o'clock was red, just because I think that's usually how people associate rainbows. You start with the first color, you start at 12 o'clock on a clock. But I will say because they didn't do that, the red, orange, yellow is on the top half, and then the purple, blue, green is on the bottom half. So that looks good. I'll give you that much, Walmart. Your collection though, terrible. Rotted, garbage, bring it to the trash, please. Duolingo apparently has a pride. Y'all, do you see what I'm seeing? There's a lot actually going on. I don't think you need the mask. I know the owl has like a mask around it. You don't need to do all of that. I already know how creepy your mascot is. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the beak is right next to the yellow, so it's like, it's hard to see. I also think it's a little bit weird how much Duolingo tries to be human. It's the same energy as Kendall Jenner trying to relate to regular humans when she's the most paid model in the world. I don't need you to do that. Just be a corporation. Like, people try to hype up Duolingo when they see them on TikTok comments. No! That is one intern being forced to do that. God help their soul. It's just weird. Like, I don't want to see Walmart talking to me. That's the corporation trying to get you on their good side, and they're never on your side. <laughs> but I will say Duolingo does do useful things. Like, I will appreciate the fact that they try to teach other languages. It's just, sometimes they really push it because they, they start to use, like, language that is just human. Literally one of their tweets is, he's a nine but his streak is zero. Like I don't know. I missed when companies would just roast each other. <gasps> oh, I just got $10 off of Uber Eats. Well, there you go. <laughs> right on the dot. Next up, City Line. Y'all notice how I have to reach for companies now? Like it's none of the main ones anymore. Okay, apparently I searched up City Life. I don't know what I'm looking at. I think I saw this on a TikTok ad and that's why I put it down. Cause I was like, I am so offended by the logo. This is a New York City news organization, apparently. We just have to take a moment. There's not even purple in the logo, first of all. You have the word the, which is already a mistake. No one uses that in their logo, ever. And if you want to use the, don't. And if you already have the word in your logo, get rid of it. It's not in your bio. It's also not in your actual Twitter handle. So why is it in your logo? The word city life, basic font. It's red, another mistake, and then org. I'm doing this on my birthday, y'all. Why? A red box and black text. Why are we using these colors? The background is just not good in general. Like, I think, is this a mountain I'm looking at if I tilt it sideways? Why do you have a gold outline? There's just too much. It's doing too much. Who are you following? You're following one person. Who are you following? Gene Ferreira, founder. Oh, how nice. Good for you, I guess. Next up is Kayak. It's like a vacation app. Y'all remember when our actual apps changed into Pride logos? What a dystopian time. <laughs> not saying we're not in a dystopia right now, but like, that was just weird. A little bit Black Mirror-ish. It's using the whole flag. I, is that green? Am I colorblind? Why is that green so... Is that purple? Something is wrong. Something is off. Because this green matches this, first of all, which is like very close to yellow on that logo. The indigo blue thing is borderline purple. It's blurple at this point. And then you got violet. I'm not sure why they took the rainbow flag and just went ah! on the colors. Everything's just slightly off. Even the white on the trans flag, it's pink. That's light pink, y'all. I guess they wanted their logo to be white. That does make sense, actually. I'll give them that. And I also appreciate, wow, you know, they almost made this perfect. The letter itself lines up with red, like the, I forgot which part of the K this is called, but like this part, it's lined up perfectly with the red stripe. And then the bottom part of that accent, I think it's called a leg. Don't remind me, I'm graduated from college. I don't need to remember this. The width of that lines up with the yellow stripe, but the other parts don't line up. Like, I really wish, the straight end of that letter lined up with the brown and the red. That would have made it so much better, except I don't know how you would have done it, but figure it out. You have designers, you got money, figure it out. That was almost a win, almost a slay. <laughs> Hollister, I actually tweeted about this because I was like, touch my pearls that are not real. Hollister, you made a pride campaign and I wasn't part of it. Their banner, not bad, okay. Not amazing. I see Latin X in there. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure Latin X is not the correct way to be gender neutral in terms of saying that. Latino does mean men, but also 
is gender neutral and that works that way in many different languages so we should respect how languages work it's not all supposed to be about english and based on what my friends told me latin x was created by white men <laughs> not even the latino community so to the latino community just is that true? Just want to double check. And also, this better not become a fight about gender neutral terms in different languages. It's different. You can't Englishify every language, y'all. And remember, we do not need to argue within our own community right now. In terms of the logo, I thought it was cute because it was like gradient and I looked far away. But then as it got closer, I just thought, what is going on? There's like a tie-dye water marble nail polish texture. Don't like that. Don't need that. Hollister. Oh, last year they actually collabed with the Fortnite player. I take back everything I said about wanting to be in this campaign. Don't associate me with that gang. I will say though, their actual merch. If you're gonna do Pride merch, which still, I don't think every corporation should, but since they do, at least look here. Because the collab was with student activists at GLSEN, so they actually went to the community and asked them to design it. Wonderful there! They're donating $250,000 to the organization to help create safe and affirming spaces for League Beauty Q plus students in K through 12 schools. Isn't that nice? And that's regardless of sales, mind you. Look at that! They took quotes from other students. The actual merch, like half of it is questionable, but also the other half is nice. Like I appreciate the tie-dye stuff. I appreciate the idea of making it patterns or just doing this. Like, yes, just make a rainbow box set. That's what I've been saying for years. It's so easy to do. Okay, apparently Frito-Lay did something. I hope not. Oh no! <laughs> Next time you eat your chips, just know Frito-Lay is thinking about you. You know what you should have done is you should have renamed all the Lay's chips to Slay's chips. <laughs> that would have been nice actually. I don't know what the food companies are doing. I know that Oreo did something stupid and then Vaseline did something even more stupid. <laughs> I don't know what they're actually doing in terms of like their impact because they own a lot of companies. They own so many different branches that I can't even list anymore. And if you want me on the marketing team, I still will say all lace chips should turn into slace chips. And I better see rainbow colored ones. Like goldfish, okay? Goldfish did better than you. Unless you own goldfish, then I take that back. Oh my God, okay, I remember this. I looked up Urban Decay. This is specifically on their TikTok that I found this. Because I've worked with them before. I like the fact that they like to represent queer people. But this is only on their TikTok logo. And it's Urban the Slay. When I tell you, my body disintegrated, reincarnated. My family had to piece me back together when I saw this. Hi, I'm Peyton, Urban Decay's global social media manager. I'm gay, and I'm here to talk to you about Pride. Here at Urban Decay, we've always done things a little bit differently. Which is why this year, for Pride, we're switching gears no. into Hyper Slay. This Pride Month, we'll be partnering with 16 iconic creators from the LGBTQIA community in order to bring their wildly hilarious content and sense of community me. that they've created they on their TikTok me. accounts to the Urban Slay account. But the fun does not stop there. But the fun never really stops here at Urban Decay. Who, who cut this video together? It's like a badly cut, it's like a badly cut YouTube video at this point. I will say it's funny, okay? Like I do appreciate the sentiment that they are collaborating with creators. I will say they've always made it feel like that anyone is included in Urban Decay, so I like that. Peyton deserves better. Whoever was editing that, hire me actually. Oh, you know what, this is up next. I just found it randomly. Ugly, JCP, what, JCPenney? Like, what, who are you? It's in Bristol. Okay, so we're not in America anymore. That's why the logo says center with RE instead, probably. Why is your yellow logo next to the yellow color of the flag? Move it around, okay? Figure it out. What I meant to find though was Bath and Body Works. I don't know why I'm looking. Oh, I know why I'm looking now. Oh God, I should not have looked. At least they're donating one to fifty thousand dollars to It Gets Better. That's an organization. If you didn't know, their logos though. Ooh, love always wins. Rainbow waves. Okay, it's like a paint image. There's just a bunch of different colors. Um, it's cute. It's, it's cute. It's fine. I mean, it's Bath and Body Works, y'all. We don't expect them to have the best designed candles. We expect them to smell good. They sell night lights when- oh wait, that's a fragrance plug. <laughs> okay, you know, it's not bad. I'll give them that. It's not- it's fine. It's not bad. Let it live. Y'all are safe for now, okay? Just wait till I do my other roast video. Y'all are next! <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go through some DMs because some of y'all actually reached out and sent me a lot of different companies. Revolut, this is an app. I don't mind it. 
It's not bad. See, this is... If you're gonna do it, just do the gradient, okay? Safest way possible. Rarely will it look bad, unless you're Hollister. McKinsey & Company. This is their logo. It's not bad! I think it's cool. I can see the M, sort of. I get what they're going for. It's like abstract. We want to be different. We want to use little lines. It's not bad. I'll give them that much at least. Now, do we think that this company actually cares about us though? Their bio says, The trusted advisor to the world's leading businesses, governments, and institutions. I'll let you figure that out. Okay, now we got Xbox. Let's look at Xbox, y'all. I swear this is like a carbon copy of the other one we just talked about. The square thing. I don't know if they're associated together, but at least for Xbox, it's centered, first of all. It works with their logo because the X in Xbox actually like goes out. Are they doing the best to make that gaming community more inclusive? Y'all tell me, because I know y'all game, so you can tell me, don't worry. I already know. Anyone can still play Minecraft and then you will see someone comment the F word in there. <laughs> also the gaming community in general, besides like Animal Crossing, <laughs> traditional Twitch games like, you know, CSGO, uh, fuck. League of Legends, which I play both. Not the best inclusive type of game. Very white male dominated still, as is everything in life probably. Sony. Oh, y'all decided to step in too. How do I make it ugly? So the SO is the rainbow flag, the N is the trans flag, and then the Y is for black and brown. Sure, I think it's kind of funny how it's like we want everyone to be included, but they also decided to separate each category. I get what they're going for. They want to recognize each of them and like not have them be this blurry on like half of a letter. Is it pretty? No. eBay. Really? Okay, well eBay is sort of like Google. It's already rainbow, so they they get a pass. The banner though, who are y'all? Are we sure these are like queer people? This looks like the people from Love Island or something. I don't know, man. I have questions about this. What has eBay done for Pride? Let's see. I mean, do I, do I need eBay to talk about, do I need eBay to talk about Pride? Not really. <laughs> I'm just here to buy some discontinued toys, man. But I do have a Pride section. And it's like clothing, jewelry, outdoor decor, home decor. They have items benefiting charities. Love that. You can also just donate through eBay. You can, I don't know why you want to, but like just go to the actual website. It's free shipping to donate though. I'm just curious. What is it about this banner? I don't, is this about love for Pride or is this about Love Island? I, I'm pretty sure this is Love Island. I haven't even seen it. Good job y'all. Oh, if y'all wanted MLM representation, look. There's your eBay. They actually did it. PayPal has one. Oh, oh, open for all. You know, I appreciate that. I like when they use their P in different words. Do I like the fact that it's a dark blue background and everyone, everyone seems to default to this dark blue background. If you're gonna do it, make the blue in the rainbow light blue. Why is that L in all the same color, basically? I'm literally rooting for y'all, okay? Please, just make it the same color as the P, it's fine. And they don't even use light blue in the actual logo. Like, make up, make up your mind. Okay, so this is an article I found on PayPal itself. In response to the growing number of state and local challenges to league beauty rights, we've signed on to the HRC's business statement opposing anti-LGBTQ state legislation. Opposing bills introduced in state houses across the country particularly trans youth. We've also signed onto the April 2021 letter by Texas Competes supporting the inclusion of League Beauty people. Last November, we supported an amicus brief in the case of Fulton versus City of Philly, a case that Glad says could allow a broad license to discriminate in other critical taxpayer-funded services like homeless shelters, hospitals, disaster agencies, and food banks. Okay. They're trying to make their industry more inclusive. It's why we've been a proud partner of Out in Tech, the largest community of League Beauty Tech employees in the world since 2016. They supported the creation of, how does PayPal have all this power? <laughs> they supported the creation of more than 180 websites for League Beauty advocacy organizations. Oh wait, cause you have to use PayPal to, oh God, I got it, I got y'all. It's nice to actually read this stuff. Now can I get my Depop refund back already? I started looking up some other news about this. Apparently the anti-League Beauties are mad at PayPal and they're trying to boycott PayPal because they're supporting League Beauty websites. Isn't that funny how it works out? Maybe if every credit card company, payment company decided to actively support then anti-elite beauty people don't have anywhere to pay. They just have to succumb to it. <laughs> I just looked up Pride Logos 2022 and this article literally says, Pride logo or no Pride logo? Companies still grapple with the meaning of being an LGBTQ ally. In what way is it that hard to understand? This is when you know companies have no emotion. They just don't know how to be an ally, y'all. How hard is it to understand basic human rights? Like, 
Is it that hard to grasp how to be a good person and an ally? They're in their meeting, they look at the board, they're like, hmm, everyone, this flag, do we use it or not? How do we do this? Ask the gay intern. Like, just, just watch this video. Unilever, uni, 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 English, mother do you speak it? Unilever, Unilever, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think they're just like an organization that focuses on being good people. <laughs> the logo though, y'all, you had such a chance, if I have to say this one more time, you don't have to make horizontal stripes or vertical stripes with the flag. You literally have an upside down rainbow. How about you actually do that? Make the upside down rainbow. Or just like make it red, orange, yellow, but go with this. What are y'all doing? Like, come on. Well, let's see what Lyft is doing. Are they carrying the same energy as Uber? They're not. They didn't even do a happy pride tweet. Oh no. Is Lyft okay? Are y'all doing okay? Oh, they had this on Uber. In 2019, Lyft became the first rideshare network to offer pronoun options in our rider app in the US and Canada. Also, Lyft has donated $50,000 each to two organizations, HRC and NCTE. It's almost like companies can be allies and you don't have to tweet about it. I actually respect Lyft a lot for this. They didn't have to say, hey, look what we did for Pride. They just did it. Oh wait, I have to see. Is Gap doing something this year for Pride? Oh my god, it's hideous. No, it's like the same standard as Walmart. This is, this is all I need to see. Gap 1969, great. For those who don't know, June 28, 1969 is when Stonewall happened. So, um, way to insert yourself into that narrative, Gap. What did y'all do, 1969? Literally, just imagine. Harvard, 1969. I don't know why they did that. I don't know what y'all were thinking over there. Effort zero. That's when y'all know it's gone too far. When they take a year, of queer people having to fight for their rights and turn it into a shirt. Do, do we see how far we've come and how little they do? And when I say how far we've come, I don't mean that in like a progression way, I mean backwards. Cause you can go backwards far as well. I think that's enough. I gotta prepare to move y'all so I don't have the time to dilly dally with- Wow, I, I, I literally just said dilly dally. Who am I? At this point, I just don't care. Okay, it's fun to roast these companies, always. I would love to do it every year if they keep doing it. But they're taking away the logos! Which I think is a good thing. It's just sad, I won't get to do these every year probably if they keep doing this. Just because Pride Month is ending doesn't mean you don't have to be as prideful or you can't find pride somewhere. Creators exist for a reason. As much as people like to hate on influencers, I know, I am one, and I will admit, some of us are nasty, <laughs> but y'all have the power to choose who you support. The people at the top of this influencer chain don't always have to be people who just dance and look pretty and hot. You can make queer people have influence. Look at what Dylan is doing, okay? Look at what she's doing. Her existence is influencing millions. I think that says a lot. And the fact that we're seeing TikTok trans people become mainstream on TikTok, another big step. Would we like to see more POC, more dark skinned people? Of course. That does not necessarily diminish her success or anyone else's success. But I can't stand it when people are like, I don't know why my algorithm is only giving me these white, gay, hot people. What do you expect? You think you can just say, hey, TikTok, could you give me some Asian queer people and it'll just nicely do it for you? No, every social algorithm has always worked for a certain kind of look and a certain kind of content. And historically, it's just been white people. <laughs> and I don't mean that to shame people who are white. It's just a reality that we have to deal with. And as Jackie Ina has once said, if you want to change your algorithm, you have to change it. You have to go out of your way. You have to specifically search, okay? Black queer people. Look up hashtags, hashtag dark skin, hashtag Queer. Hashtag POC queer. You can also train the algorithm. It's really not that hard, okay? I've done it every week. You just have to say, not interested in this. Someone dancing, goodbye. Plant games, give me more. Makeup, give me more of that. Y'all have power. Just realize it. That's all I got. I hope y'all are having a safe Pride. I will be at New York City Pride, but by the time this video is uploaded, I've already been there. Hopefully I see some of y'all though, but in general, if you see me around New York City, please say hi. I don't bite. Stay safe. I know it's a lot going on and I hope that my videos help lighten the mood a little bit. I don't want every video to just be negative, okay? I don't want y'all to go into a video and then be depressed walking out. But I also don't think it's fair to like the next generation and us right now if we just ignore stuff. Don't ignore the stuff that's going on. That being said, subscribe! I hate my job, okay? This is really terrible. I'm sorry for the bad segue. Social medias are here. If I'm not uploading next week, you know why. I'm just 
moving. Yes, I will do a moving vlog. Yes, I will do an apartment tour. Okay, give me time. And as always, I love you all and everything is less than three. This is companies after pride. They just take it all off. Take it off, Frederick. It's all just a show, y'all. Imagine this whole time I've been on YouTube. I've secretly just been straight. Oh, you never know.